Hi, I'm Sean Prestridge, Senior Field Applications Engineer for IAR Systems, and I'd like to tell you about how IAR is bringing power debugging to the embedded workbench for MSP430 by leveraging TI's Energy Trace. Energy Trace is a technology that allows you to continuously sample the energy supplied to the target from one of TI's new FET debuggers that supports Energy Trace, such as the one I have connected to my computer. Rather than using a shunt resistor to measure a voltage drop, Energy Trace uses a software controlled DC to DC converter to generate the target power supply. So the time density of the charge pulse equals the energy consumption of the target MCU. Energy Trace is available for all MSP430 devices, but some 430 devices have Energy Trace++, which gives you the ability to see the MCU and peripheral states of the device during execution. The 5969 board that I have attached to my computer has this functionality. Let's take a look at how we can utilize this in our development experience. If I click on Example Projects, the board that I have attached is one of the MSP430FR5XX family, so I'm going to select this, and you'll see that there are many different example projects. I'm going to select Timer A and allow it to be copied to my My Documents IAR Embedded Workbench folder. I'm going to select the, the second example because it's continuously sampled so it makes it a little bit easier to show you what Energy Trace can do for you. Once I've selected this, then I can right click on the project and go to Options and under the FET Debugger I need to make sure that this box for Enable ULP and LPM Debug is enabled. I click OK. When I select Download and Debug, this will take just a few seconds to download into the new hardware. Once it's downloaded, I can take a look at the new functionality that's inside of the emulator menu. There's the power log setup as well as the power log. If I select power log, in order to be able to enable this, I just right click in the menu and or inside the window and make sure that enable is selected. Similarly for the state log and the state log summary, I just want to right click and make sure that it's enabled. Then in order to see what's going on, I can switch over to my timeline view and you can see that uh, by right clicking inside of here, I can enable the power debugging as well as the state log. And if I allow my code to execute, you'll see that power samples are being taken. I can then use my minus key to zoom out so I can see a little bit more information about how the power is transitioning. As you can see, as the LED turns off, the current consumption also correspondingly drops. And I can also look at the voltage as well as the energy measurement. If I use my plus key to zoom back in, I can take a look at the state chart and see how things are transitioning inside of the state chart. If I double click on one of the state events, it will show me in the disassembly window with the orange line exactly where this state event occurred. Similarly, if I take a look at the state log summary, I can see a little bit better information about when things are transitioning and how long they stay at that particular state. So as you can see, it's very easy to use Energy Trace++ with the embedded workbench for MSP430. Thanks for watching this video.